Good day, folks, and welcome to the IT Way. My name is Joanne, and this is one of many videos that we have in our membership portal here and in the description below that is ties into the Cisco Meragi Certification Blueprint. You're going to see all information and tools that you're going to have for you to go from zero to hero in everything about Cisco Meragi portfolio. So if you are interested in that, you can go to the description below. Enjoy this video and see you the next one. Now that we went through the different configurations of the MX, the switches, the access points, and the design considerations for the implementations and the templates, now we're going to see a different topic, which is going to be QoS. So how can you ensure a quality of service for all the traffic that you think that is relevant for you inside of the network? Now that you have the dashboard, you can have the MXs, you have the switches and wireless access points all in one place. So how can you ensure they have the best strategy for queuing us? That's what we're going to see. Something that is important is that I'm not going to tell you what is the queuing us or the ACP tag or any specific tags that you should use in what traffic. That's something that you can get from the internet to see what are the best practices, but then take into consideration your network and your business needs. And then accordingly to that, you can tag the specific traffic from the relevancy of the queue or the quality of service uh, tag that you think that is better for you. I'm gonna show you then how to configure in the three different devices, which are the main devices for the quality of service. And then you can go through, understand your business, understand your, your network and see what is the best traffic that you should tag on. So we can start, uh, let's go for the wireless and the access points. So if you go to wireless here, firewall and traffic shaping, we will see the section right down at the bottom. So on the bottom, you have traffic shaping rules. You can either put a per client bandwidth limit. What it means is that every client associated to that SSID is going to be a cap of the throughput. The bandwidth limit could be one meg, two megs, and specific details you can put it here to make it if you want to make it as simple as that. It's just using the drop down. This one is going to be per SSID bandwidth. So it's not just one specific line is going to be enforced as for AP basis it's just for the whole SSID. So if you say that all the clients in this one cannot go past the 100 max, that's how you do it. So that's the traffic shaping per client and per SSID. So what happens with the QNS? This is the section. So the shape, the traffic. Right now there's nothing, but then if you change it, boom, more things comes. There are default route rules, and that's probably the ones that you can get through the internet. What are the, the main ones, the best practice that it's in a standard are this one. So if you enable those, it means that this access point is going to honor that DCSP, DCS, DSCP tag. In the traffic type, you have the C voice, the advertisement, the WebEx. So this is in the way best practices, but that's a default one. If you want to honor that, Great. If you want to do your own, you have this option here to create a new rule. So let's create one just for the sake for, for the purpose of this specific exercise. So let's say that, yes, that's great, but for you is very important O365. So let's try to get, you see the list of all the different options that you can get. If you go to productivity, you have Office 365 here. Per one, per client bandwidth limit? No, we're just going to ignore it let's ignore it and pcp the scp tagging so that's when you can specifically mention what is what you want let's say just for the sake of the exercise i'm telling you that this is what you should be in office all 365 you make that decision but let's put it in the same as all video and music because that's what you want to do so you put it in the way highest priority which is going to be six and then this one you select the one that you see that is more suitable so let's put it in 18. So when you do that and save the changes, what the access point is going to do is when he recognizes that there is a traffic from a wireless device that is connected to this SSID, sending traffic to the Office 365 application, he's going to ignore any SSID per client limit that you put here. And then it's going to tag that traffic, PCP, DSCP tagging as 6 and 18. So that's what is going to happen. If you want another application to use the same rule here, just add it here and find it. Or if you want to create another QNS service for this, you can put it here and then add the other ones. So that's that's how you configure the QS in the wireless access points. 
So what happens is let's assume that this access point is directly connected to the Meraki switch. So now all the traffic towards to the Meraki switch will be tagged with this one. So now the strategy is to use the same or honor the same traffic all the way from the beginning to the end. So the beginning when the client generates that traffic with that tag, or if those generate will try with the tag, then the AP acknowledge that track and that traffic and then tag itself with this one and then send it to the switch. So what we want is the switch to acknowledge that and continue moving on. If we go to the switch to make that happen, we go to switch, switch settings. And here you have this section, quality of service. There is no traffic being prioritized. So that's why you click and you have the options. This is a more simpler options for you to configure. So let's say that any VLAN for any traffic, you can say any or put TCP. If you put TCP or UDP, you're going to see the source and destination port that you have to, oh, have to mention what kind of traffic is going to be honored there. And the DSCP, you have the option to put just trust incoming DSCP. It means that you're not going to specify the DSCP tags, or you can specify one specific DSCP tag. So you can have the 18 of one that you mentioned. If you want just to honor everything that is coming in from any other device and you don't want to additionally make anything, you just can put that and just say any traffic, anything that is coming, it's going to be trusting. But again, if you want to do something specifically for all the traffic reaching to this, to this switch, you say probably VLAN 20, any traffic from VLAN 20, or if it's TCP, you can put it here, let's say TCP, any traffic that is with a destination for 80, let's set a specific DSCP. So let's say that is this 18 class one FA21. That way then all the traffic that this switch can identify that is coming from VLAN 20, TCP with a destination for 80, is gonna put that tag. And the strategy is to ensure that all the switches will be honoring that traffic. If the whole Meraki stack that you have is all the switches on your network, it means that you just have to configure it here and you have to make any configuration of the switches because that's going to be applied to all the switches. If you have a third party switch, I have to ensure that that third party switch then trust the incoming DSCP tags that either the switch or the endpoint device is going to create and generate. If you have the full stack, it means that that traffic eventually will reach out to the security and SD1 appliance that you have. And then eventually they're going to another VLAN or going to the internet. To ensure that you have the same situation with the security SD1, you have to go to SD1 and traffic shaping. And this one is pretty similar to the one that you saw in the wireless, the wireless page. You go all the way to the bottom, you have the same situation, you see disable, you can enable it, you have the default one that is going to be enabled then, or you can create a new rule. And if you want to create a specific new rule, you can put it here. Uh, let's say, let's create a new one. Since we have already all 65, let's say that you use a lot of Coursera. So now Coursera is going to use it here. It's going to ignore the per client limit. The priority that it's going to have is high. And then we're going to put this low latency data load drop. So every time that the traffic hits the max, it's going to tag that traffic that is going to Coursera with this specific uh, selection. So that's basically the best practice of the QoS strategy for your network if you have the full Meraki stack. You have the configuration of the access points to ensure that any traffic is being tagged accordingly as based on your needs. And then the traffic Eventually, we're going to hit the Meraki switch, and then the Meraki switch will either honor that incoming DSCP tag, or it's going to override it or something else that you want, or create a DSCP tag with traffic that probably was not having the DSCP tag generated before. Eventually, you can reach the MX, and the MX then can have either honor that for the default roads, default rules, or you can create your own rule for that specific traffic that doesn't have a specific DSCP tag at the moment. And if that traffic has to go to the internet, there is no tag in the internet, or it has to go to another device, then we'll carry on that DSCP tag. If you want to have end-to-end, -end, ensure that the next end device honor the incoming traffic with the DSCP tag that comes. And that's it.
See you in the next one.